Hey guys, Mickey Tech here, and as you can see here, Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean is here in the UK for your Samsung Galaxy S3. Well, for some of you anyway. Some of you still won't have it. Um, some carriers are still testing it out and that, so it's still not been rolled out, but other companies like Vodafone, they're staggering it out to their customers, which is irritating, just give it us. Um, I still didn't have mine. I had to actually go on keys, which are the spelling and that is here and how the link um, is keys. Basically, it's a bit like iTunes, but it's like Android, Samsung's kind of thing. Uh, you can put music, photos and all that on there and sync them. Uh, all I did was download that on, it's for PC and Mac and download Jelly Bean. Easy as that if you're impatient as me is do it through keys. But make sure your battery is 100% charged or it will not work. So I'll just show you a couple of features. Obviously you'll all recognise this if you've had Jelly Bean on the Nexus 7 and, or any other device you may own that has Jelly Bean. Um, so what we'll do, we'll come out of this. I have noticed that it is very, very quick and responsive on Jelly Bean with that Project Butter or whatever they call it. Really, really quick. So I'll just show you a couple of features. We'll go up into the notification bar. Now let's bring it up to the camera. Now what can you notice here is different. Yep, you spotted it, blocking mode. Now blocking mode is if we go into settings and go up the top here, blocking mode. If you turn on blocking mode, you can disable incoming calls, disable notifications, disable alarm and timer, disable LED indicator, and you can set the time from, wit from, from what time and to what time you like to receive no phone calls, notifications, anything. Now, this is really good. It is handy for you people that are like, I don't know, on a meeting or you just don't want your phone going off in the middle of the night. So what you do, you have allowed contacts, which you can allow any contact to, you can still receive messages and phone calls from them in case of emergencies. So that is a really nice feature that they have added in. So, move on to the next one. Now that is in messages. Let me just get that up. Messages. Big new thing in message with messages that I am so thankful for. Um, it's irritating sometimes using the Android keypad um, or the Samsung keypad. It's quite irritating. But as you can see now, you have the dictation button. It looks very similar to the Siri button. Um, now, you guys that have Jelly Bean, if you don't know, is... I don't have that button. Why is that button not there? Simple thing is, just hold it down if you've got the settings one there or whatever else, and then just click on it. Testing dictation on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now look at that. Perfect. Now, I probably will do a comparison of that between Siri dictation at some point. But I was just a quick look, guys, at um, a couple of the features that I've noticed and really enjoying in Jelly Bean on the S3. So I'd like to hear your comments and your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments section below. I'd really appreciate that and I'll reply to everyone that I can. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. It really does help me out, guys. And I really love your support. And also share the video on any social networking site you may be connected to. Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, if that even is still going. Anyone that you like. And also, hit that subscribe button to get my video content first. And it's absolutely free, guys. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to hit subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been the Mickey Tech. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.